Hey, it's Heather, and today I'm gonna to talk about big news in the food world. Gourmet Magazine, whoosh, kaput, doors are closing. And that's kind of like closing the New York Times in the food world. It's an old, venerated title, big deal. To pay honor, I am making my favorite gourmet recipe, which is uh, cheddar cheese scones with ham and honey mustard. Absolutely delicious recipe. Um, but before I get into that, let me just tell you a little backstory about kind of what went down. Lots of food magazines out there these days, lots of competition, internet, all that stuff, recession, bad times. But it's a little bit more in depth than that. The two big magazines, Bon Appetit and Gourmet, owned by the same company, Condé Nast. Now everybody just knew that they couldn't both survive. Everybody thought it was Bon Appetit going out. Nope, 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 wasn't because a lot of reasons, but the main reason really is, is that when Gourmet was conceived uh, 60, 70 years ago, it was about ideas, it was about like giving people who really knew how to cook new ideas and a and, and new culture. But you know, now, 2009, we don't know how to cook anymore. We know all about Chinese food and Italian food and Thai food, and we need recipes. So what is working now are recipe-driven magazines, and Bon Appetit, like others are very good at it. Still, I'm bummed. Liked Gourmet Magazine. It was my place where I did one-stop shopping. In that, I had lovely photography, terrific writing, um, albeit a little pretentious sometimes, but um, uh, solid work and reliable, consistent recipes. Their test kitchen ruled. And for me, I don't wanna spend all this time schlepping and cooking and have it not work. And when I, when I talk about the scones, if you've noticed, I don't do a lot of baking. So for me, I don't have that expertise as much as I might with other recipes. So I really need something that works. And gourmet delivered. So uh, when it comes to baking in general, you gotta be really precise. So as you, you know, as I'm cooking this, baking these scones, you'll see I am measuring old school. I am leveling my flour. I am eyeballing the line on um, the measuring cup. Do not ever overwork dough unless you're making bread. When it says till just combined, just combined. When it says measure the sifted flour, measure the sifted flour. When it says, you know, just do it. Cold butter, melted butter, follow the instructions. And indeed, with this recipe, like so many others in gourmet, if you follow it, you will get something delicious, which is what we do with these cheddar cheese scones. Now, the recipe, once I got the scones and that honey mustard, I kind of went off on my own because I can. I don't use store-bought deli ham, I use baked ham. I would have used Virginia ham if I had it. And I don't put lettuce on the scones, I make a nice salad because let's face it, it's scones and ham, I have to balance it out a little bit. And with this I have uh, roasted butternut squash because it is October. Now in terms of wine, please. When I say ham, you say Riesling, end of show. That's all you need to know. So I'm pouring with it a Riesling. Uh, so I'm gonna do my little taste, as I do, I'm going to taste. Mm. Mm. That honey mustard is beautiful. The scones are so tender. Wonderful. This is a off dry Riesling. A bone dry one will work as well. So, of course, I will have the recipe on my website, but you can find it on your computer, epicurious.com, or my new thing, uh, if you have a smartphone, iPhone, you can find it online with a cool Epicurious app. What's so nice about this, you're on the go. You forget to print out the recipe, don't worry. Everything is here. All your ingredients, you have a sense of how long it's gonna take. It's really terrific. While I'll miss the magazine with all the new recipes coming out every month, happily all the recipes are available at epicurious.com. I miss the context of a magazine, make no mistake. There's some great things about Googling recipes and there's some not so great things. I'm trying to figure out a way to offer the best of both worlds. When I figure it out, you'll be the first to know. Um, but in the meantime, for wines, for recipes, for much, much more, please hit my website, sogood.tv. Cheers.